Welcome to Magic Info Services. In this video I would like to show you how to enable the two-factor authentication. Now this is very useful to add an extra layer of security to your Magic Info environment. So how can this be done? Well, in case you are working one of our cloud solutions, you most likely already have 2FA enabled, as you might have seen when trying to sign in. In case you have your own solution and would like to enable this for your own situation, make sure to follow these steps. So I'm currently signed in as the server administrator of my installation, as you can see. So what I will then do is I head over to setting, server management and server settings. If I scroll down just a bit, you will hear at the password policies, see the two step verification, OTP, which stands for one time password. Now you can enable this and make sure to tick some boxes for the trusted devices. Then you can here select a period of days that the devices are trusted. So let's say one day, which means every day the OTP has to be renewed. Now I click on save and sign out. And I would like to sign in again. And as you can see, it now requests information for a two factor authentication. Now this can be done through a mobile phone or through a password app that you have on your desktop. Now we have good experience with the Google Authenticator, which can be downloaded in the Google Play Store and in the App Store for iOS devices as well. Now we will show you how that's done. So right here in the App Store, we have the Google Authenticator. Now this is the gray app with the gray logo. And if I open it, it asks me to get started. Here you can set up your first account. So this can be done by scanning a QR code. Because if I click on next on Magic Info, it will here show the QR code that I can scan with my mobile phone. So I can scan the QR code. And as you can see, the 2FA six digit code appears on my display. Now I can fill this in and click on next. Now the 2FA has now been enabled with the uh, admin account and is connected to the app that I have on my phone right now. So if I click on OK, I'm now signed in as you're used to. The six digit code on the phone refreshes every few seconds in order to remain secure, of course. What if you need to reset this? Then we go back to settings, server management and server settings. And here you can also disable it if you want to. Now, in case I would like to reset it for my user, I will first go to my user. Here I have to fill in a new code again that I retrieve from my phone app. I will search for the administrator, which is this one. I click on it and right here I can also reset my one-time password. So if I click on reset, it will disconnect my phone from the account, which means I can use the 2FA app or the Google Authenticator app with a new phone. And this is how to work with a two-factor authentication. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email with the information in the description and we're looking forward to helping you. Thanks for watching.